Well, here we are again, back at uh, Kawasaki Motorholic. Um, they called me this morning and said uh, my bike has arrived. So we've come over here to have a look at it and do all the paperwork. Anyway, so stay tuned and um, we'll go through some of those details with you. Okay, say again. Okay, yes. Yeah, so you had my dual bike? Yeah. Whereabouts we go? Sorry, car. Sorry, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. What to see? What to see? Yeah, so here we are. Four floors up. And we have. Oh my god, look at this, would you? Wow. Oh my god. Now that's one nice looking bike. Still got the plastic wrap on it. Okay, don't know why we don't take the lift. Walk down the stairs, oh my god. Okay, so while we're waiting for to do all the paperwork, um, we'll go and just have a quick look around the, the showroom again. Uh, give you a look at some of the other bikes that are on here. Okay, so this one's the Z300. This is the one that Shania thought that she might get. Uh, but uh, she's now thinking more along uh, a Honda. Um, we'll go into that details a little bit down the track. Uh, as I said, you know, she's got to sell the other two bikes first. Um, so that puts a bit of a challenge ahead of the actual purchase. Uh, but the Z300, if you're looking for that sort of bike, I think it's uh, quite a nice road bike. I like style, you like style? No, no, I don't like style. Why? Looks like Honda. I like style. See, you just sell it. Oh, you want, yes, yeah, yeah. For some reason, she doesn't like the, the extra wide area on the pigeon seat. <laughs> it's obviously a fashion thing, you know, I can't understand it. Um, a classic cafe racer um, style, uh, the, the 175SE. Uh, again, a single cylinder job. Um, you know, in the old days, this is, you know, my first bike was a cafe racer. Um, I still still have a bit of a passion for them, um, but uh, again, it's just not it's just not what I'm looking for. Another Z300 here. And what's this one? Oh, this one here is the Kawasaki Versa, Versa X. What size is this one? How many cc? 300. Okay, so this is a 300cc Versa. I guess the name Versa means it's the versatile bike. It's like an on-road, off-road um, style bike. Um, <coughs> uh, probably good around sort of, you know, the northern parts of Thailand. Um, I don't know so much about around the sort of city and uh, country driving, but Again, you know, different people have different ideas for style. This one here uh, is the Kawasaki, uh, what's the, what's the Z600, 650, And then moving on to the Ninja, the Ninja 650. Very nice looking bike. And here we have is the Z900. Oh, two different colours there. They're a nice looking piece of equipment. Four cylinder. And this is the Versa 650. Uh, again, it's the same sort of capacity as uh, the bike I've got, but again, it's the um, you know it's the on-road, off-road style, which wasn't what I was looking for. And again, I don't really like the riding position on these things here. But they're still a nice bike. There's nothing, no, no doubt about it. They're well-engineered. 
And again, uh, back to the uh, Ninja. And of course, I think Kawasaki is fairly well known for their Ninja style bikes. Um, that's the 650. Um, what's that one? That was the 400. Um, and these are the top end models. This is the ZX10R. Now, I don't have any pricing for these things, guys, but you can go to the Kawasaki website and check those prices out. Um, I think they have fairly well listed pricing. I'm not quite sure how up to date it is. Um, <coughs> but all in all, um, yeah, sort of the Z10R, I think it's a 1000cc. They also have a range of trail bikes as well, which is the smaller capacity bikes, but again, uh, you know, like I grew out of trail bikes you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Uh, they're all right around trails of Australia, but uh, they're only really good for farm working. Yeah, so what we'll do now is we're just going to sit down. We've got all the details. I've got the yellow book. I've got the ID card. I've got my passport uh, to show the visa that I'm on and the visa you know, part of the visa process, to, you know, that the, um, when it was last renewed and when it renews next. It's all part of the way that they want to do for the insurance and registration. Um, so that's all under, under, well, underway now. It'll probably take 30 minutes. Um, then finally, finally uh, I've got the details I need to do the bank transfer. Uh, basically all I need there is, you know, like in Australia we call the BSB number or the banking code number and then the account number and then we all I do is when I get back home, I'll just uh, set that uh, transfer up and transfer the money. All I need from them really is a final price. Um, so we're probably looking, I think, with the extras I've ordered, I think it comes in around about 285000 I think, from memory. But, um, you know, like, it's not a bad discount from 311000 which is the current price. Um, but there is a special on for February, which finishes on the 28th. Uh, I think I mentioned that before, but uh, again, it's all part of it. There's already been a 5,000 baht deposit paid on the, on the bike already, so um, yeah, it all works out in the wash. I just sort of come outside and have a look at some of these things on the outside. Yeah, these are more the um, uh, the Z125, that's uh, around, you know, like the typical city, around the city type uh, crutch rockets. Um, again, uh, another 175. Uh, this is a Cafe Racer style. First so we got the Z300 again. Uh, CBR300, what are they doing with the Honda here? <laughs> Don't tell Shania. <laughs> Maybe she hasn't seen it yet. I can't quite work out what this is. I haven't seen one of these before. Sure, it's not a, it's not a Kawasaki. Oh, it is a Kawasaki. A Kawasaki in a sort of a older, class, older classic uh, style. I guess it's, it's definitely not a new one, but... Uh, well, take it for a test drive. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I put a pin last time on the last uh, episode of the Motorholic uh, location. Now we are on the west side. There are, I think, four other locations around the city, so they're, they're a fairly big chain. Um, uh, so that was one of the reasons why you know, like I went through them, rather than uh, there's a few other non-Motorholic um, uh, Kawasaki stores as well. Uh, but most of them don't do with the big bikes. Uh, so that's one of the other challenges, like there is this separation out here between the typical round the street bikes, which would call anything up to about 150cc, um, and most of the uh, dealers will not deal with anything bigger than that. You may on a, on a chance get something up to maybe 300cc in, in most of the you know, smaller motorcycle shops, um, but when you're getting into the big bikes you've really got to sort of do a bit of, uh, bit of leg work and searching around. Anyway, just, uh, we're just now, just as I said, finalising the bill. Um, so there's been a bit of confusion about the accessories I wanted. Uh, now, I can't really sort of fault anybody in this. The guy I was dealing with, uh, his name's Pat. Um, he was, we met at the, um, at the show and we've been conversing on, um, on, on Facebook. 
about all the details, and he's been passing the details onto the shop. Uh, so you know, a bit of a you know Chinese whispers, Chinese whispers style of uh, you know communication going on there. But he came off his bike about a week ago, and he's been. You know, like, I've seen the pictures, mate. He's not in a freaking good state. Right? He's got you know like gravel rash from a over half his body. I don't know why he's got gravel rush over half his body. Um, you know, what was he wearing when he came off? Seriously, you know. Um, but that's again, this is what happens in Thailand. You know, the, you know, the you know, Thais do tend to live this, you know, uh, live every day if it's, if it's, as if it's your last sort of type of attitude. And again, there's nothing really wrong with those sort of things in, you know, in some, some respects. But unless you've got, you've got some planning about, you know, uh, propagating the species and, you know, having family and everything else, living every day as if it's your last is not really good for you know, a, a good long-term strategy. But hey, look, everybody, you know, horses for courses, as they say. Um, anyway, so we're just going to be sort of paying for the bike today. So it's 276, less than 5,000 deposit. Uh, he's just raising their bill now, and then uh, they're going to get the other parts in. You know, and then, because again, sort of, you know, the, the handlebar set that I want uh, is quite well described in the American website, which is where I got the details, but there's actually five different handlebar sets uh, available here in Thailand, and I have got no idea which one it is, um, which makes it confusing. Now, we've, we've, we've said it's the reduced reach. Now, I don't I ideally need the reduced reach. They're, they're actually quite comfortable, these handlebars, uh, compared to what I tried on the Testra out at, at the D Big Bike for the 2015 model which obviously had a set of handlebars which were probably um, extended reach or something like that. I have no idea why, but they felt really uncomfortable. These ones here just sitting on the bike this morning, yeah, feel really good. Um, uh, I took some face Facebook photos. If you're following me on Facebook, you'll see me sitting on the bike. Um, but uh, aside from that, uh, you know, like I still want to check them out, you know, to see, you know, I said, Sean is a bit shorter than me, you know, and if she wants to ride my bike, she might feel more comfortable with the reduced, re re with the reduced reach handlebars. Um, and the third thing is, of course, the pillion backrest. Well, we're not planning on doing any long rides yet. Probably for the next month, you know, I'm going to get used to the bike, you know, do some local rides um, and have her on the back. Uh, so we're not going to be travelling probably any more than an hour. I'm pretty sure she can hold on to me rather than relax back on a backrest uh, <laughs> in that sort of time. But uh, you know that's the sort of part of the thing. And you know, the backrest. And I remember when I had my old Kawasaki. It was a uh, what they call a, a, a chopper version. You know, it was a Kawasaki LTD. Um, I actually made my own backrest for that. And uh, everybody that you know took riding with it loved it. It actually had a king and queen seat, which really you know, made it a lot more comfortable for riding as well. Um, you know, I was very, very well sort of low down on the seat, um, uh, so, you know, with a, you know with good footing on the on the on the foot pegs. Whereas you know the passenger would sort of uh, uh, feel feel higher than me on the back. And being able to rest back on the backrest was really one of the things they loved doing. It also helps the passenger stay more stable on the back as well when you're going on long drives. And so you're not always overcompensating for when they're looking around you know, and try to offset your balance. But uh, again, that's just the, my, you know, the things I've noticed in the past and uh, why I've requested that backrest. Anyway, so we're just doing the final bits and pieces here. So we'll catch you in a second. Okay, mate. It's good to, good to talk to you. Uh, and. We'll, 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 we'll go home and do the transfer now and uh, hopefully we'll see you Monday. Okay. I think maybe three day. Okay? Sure. Okay, darling, you ready now? Yes. Bye. Okay. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now. Bye now. You speak Thai. Bye now. Bye now. Okay. Good luck. Kapun ka. Have a nice day. You too. You too. Now she wants to talk about her motor side, but. You tell me where you where, where can you buy Honda? I don't know, I'm not check. You're not checking anywhere. She not even have any idea where to buy Honda from. Typical women. Anyway, so look, you know, just a bit of feedback there. Look, everything's been going through what I would call Thai style smoothly. Um, and uh, as I said, the, you know, the, the guy I've been speaking with here, he's you know great with the English language. So it's not a damn, not a drama whatsoever. So if you are thinking about getting a Kawasaki at all. Uh, I would definitely recommend coming out to see these guys. I've told them the fact that if you, you know, if you come out here and you've seen these videos, uh, to take special care of my friends on the YouTube channel. 
Uh, so just tell them that you know, you've, you've seen them from the YouTube channel and I'm sure they'll take care of you. Anyway, so we're going to just get head back home now, do the bank transfer and hopefully we'll be picking the bike up on Monday. Bye for now.